Hi, I'm Rob from Hobbs Inc. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. As you can see, another mystery beer. This time, courtesy of my friend Peter over at the Clueless Drinker. Check out his channel if you haven't already. You bloody well should have. And this was graciously given to me on my birthday. Birthday mystery beer. What more can you ask for? So, let's get this open. Let's see what we've got. I'm kind of hoping it's not going to be like a big Imperial Stout. Oh, it's kind of brownish. Interesting, interesting situation. Hmm. Brown. Oh, I can smell it from here. Yeah, it's kind of like a like a murky, darkish brown. The head, I'm trying not to smell it, uh, is kind of like a chestnutty kind of colour. So let's give it a swirl and sniff. Check out the aroma. That smells beautiful. That's, um, that smells beautiful. It's kind of, I'm getting hints of banana. It's probably not banana in there, but... I'm, it's definitely coffee. This is like a quite a sweet coffee, like a I'm gonna say hazelnut as well. It can't be. No, I don't think it is. No, it's it's a it's a better version of the Nog Monk did a hazelnut um, kind of port or hazelnut brown ale recently, which felt really felt really short, but this doesn't. Kind of yeah, it smells great. Yeah. Oh, I can't stop smelling it. <laughs> it's lovely. Yeah, kind of toffee, and maybe a hint of kind of bruised banana, um, hazelnuts, milk chocolate, coffee. Smells great. Hmm. So far, kind of adjuncty brown ale. ABV, undetermined. Let's dive in. Cheers. Thanks, Peter. Oh, yeah. That's lovely. Bracken. Um, I'm still going to say brown ale. It could be imperial brown ale. It could be a porter. Sometimes I think breweries miss the, miss the mark with porters. So maybe it's a porter. What it could be. Hmm. Only thing I can suspect is potentially hazelnut brown nectar from Rogue. But I really don't think, I don't think that comes in a big can. I think that comes in a smaller can. Okay, I'm going to say it's either 5.8 or 6.3. It's a brown ale. It could be a porter, but that's the, the brewery's deficit, not this guy's. I'm going to say there's um, chocolate, maybe chocolate added. Potentially, it's got that Nutella thing, so it's, it's chocolate and hazelnut. And maybe even maybe in a bit of coffee. It's a quite a sweet coffee if that is the case. Brewery wise, I've no idea. I don't know of anything. I think it's something I probably don't kind of see very often. Um, and um, I don't know who's done a British brewery who's done this kind of steel style besides. Um, um, Northern Monk, it's not theirs. It could be an American brewery that I'm not, I don't get much of, if if anything. But it's lovely, it's absolutely cracking. So um, yeah, really my kind of beer. Not kind of, it's got a load of adjuncts in it, but the adjuncts um, don't dominate. It's not, it's not pastry stout in that sense. I do like those kind of beers that have all, uh, have adjuncts, but don't go massively over the top. So. So it's open with the useful um, tab that Peter's fashioned. It's the future of Mr. Beer for all you guys out there. He's put all the, he's put plenty of tape on. Make sure it can go around 16 times before it's um. You can see the top of a. Oh, I think I, I think I've got a glimpse of what the brewery might be. A hint from the um from the. Oh, he didn't put a tab on the top at the bottom. I did. Such a fucking little bitch. Huh? Um, let's just let's just pull it let's pull it down just make your own jokes <laughs> tape all over <of> me now <laughs> yeah. yeah I thought it was how oh, is it still I'm still not even sure I was thinking it was gonna be um, um, uh, Amundsen from the kind of top of the can but I don't think it is I have no idea what this looks like it's got a picture of Mr. T on the front or something ah who does this? Is this America? Is this American brewery? 
I wonder if this came in one of Peter's boxes. Because I'd seen this online. I think Brewdog had it on their online shop. Griffin Claw. Yeah, Brewdog had it on their online shop. It is downtown Bourbon Brown. Picture of James Brown there. Brown Ale aged in bourbon barrels. Okay. I don't get the bourbon. I don't get much bourbon. And that's not in a bad way. With espresso beans. Ah, very good. I was, I was kind of heading in that kind of right direction. So I said like 6.3 or something, didn't I? <laughs> Peter's laughing at home. So he knows it's like 9.12, 9.10 or something. So yeah, it's, it is, I think it is American. Yeah, Michigan. Birmingham, Michigan. Birmingham, Michigan. Uh, oh no, it's 6.5. Hey, not bad, not bad. Maybe that's why I don't get a load of the bourbon, because it's quite a lower, lower ABV beer. So downtown Bourbon Brown. Go for have a soul. On the front of the can. Brown ale aged in bourbon barrels. It's really nice. With espresso beans. Yeah, I think that I'd, be, I'd be interested if there's anything more but just that in there, because I think there's a lot more complexity. So let's give it another go, knowing. Maybe you get a little tanny nino. From from the from the barrel. If it is, that's a lovely bourbon quality. Yeah, okay, thinking about it now, yeah, it is in there, but it's not that really kind of like wet, um, wet barrel where you get a lot of cherry, little really really fresh bourbon kind of like cherry qualities. Um, Yeah, thinking about it now, maybe maybe there is, it's, but it's really well placed in there, I've got to say. It's got a real kind of, I wonder if he picked it up for a brew dog. If he did, thank you very much, Peter, that's very generous. And he knows I like a brown ale. And there's not many of them around, it's a really nice one. Mmm. Maybe you know, those the kind of sweeter notes, which you can often kind of say would be kind of vanilla or something. Um... Would you, you could kind of say that's that's the bourbon char barrel character coming through, but I think it's just really nicely done. I'm surprised there's not hazelnuts in it because it's got a real prominent hazelnut. Maybe once again that's the complexity of the barrel. As you can see, this guy likes it. It's lovely stuff. Yeah. So another mystery beer for the books. It is from the wonderful Peter over at the Clueless Drinker. It's not that clueless really. <laughs> it's a kind of the Griffin Claw. Brewing Company from Birmingham, Massachusetts, Michigan. Birmingham, Michigan, sorry. Um, it's the downtown Bourbon Brown. Brown Ale, Brown Ale, aged in bourbon barrels with espresso beans. Lovely, lovely stuff. Please check out Peter's channel. You, you bloody should do. I watch it. <laughs> so be like me. Watch Peter's channel. Fantastic mystery beer. I think I was pretty close on a lot of them. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, not amazing, better than the last one. But yes, big thanks to Peter for sending this. Um, I'm Rob from Hopsey and I'll see you next time.